My sister asked me to make a video talking about how to get motivated and how to stay motivated. So, how to get motivated. Number one, you got to find something about your life that you want to change. That you want to change enough that it bothers you. It's got to bug you deep down. You got to want to change it. I don't know. You want to got to want to get better at math. You got to want to be faster running. You got to want to not be 300 pounds anymore. You know, it's got to be something like that and it has to be something that that there's reasons, okay? Because that brings us to number 2, how to stay motivated. Okay. First off, accept that motivation is fleeting. We are human beings. We do not stay motivated 24/7. If you look at somebody on YouTube and they seem like they're motivated 24/7, that's because you're only seeing a little snapshot of their life. Nobody's motivated 24-7. We all have ups and downs. You can have the greatest day that you've ever had in your life, and you can wake up the next morning and just not be feeling it. That happens. All right, so you are the captain of the ship, of your own life, and you can pick the direction. I'm not saying you aren't going to hit a, a, a freak wave. I'm not saying it's not going to be tough. But you have to understand, and you have to believe deep down, that you can steer the boat, all right? You can pick the direction that you want to go. You have to believe that, and it is true. It is 100% true, okay? It might be rocky. It may take some serious fucking effort, excuse my language, to get there, but you can get there. You have to believe that. Once you understand that you can point the ship in the direction you need to go. Your next step is to keep going in that direction, okay? Whatever it is, you've got to say, every day I'm incrementally going to do something to get there. For me, fitness and weight loss. Every day I've got to do something small, a workout, uh, prep a meal, do something every day. Now you might get blown back. You may, You might make some to backwards progress, right? And that's okay, but you need to keep going in that direction. You need to keep going in that direction. So if your goal, for example, is to lose weight, make sure that, you know, every week, every week you're losing a little bit of weight. If you're not at least losing like a pound a week um, or a pound a month or whatever, it doesn't matter. The numbers don't matter. It's the direction, okay? If you incrementally go somewhere, just, and that is, what, what I mean by incrementally go somewhere is, you're trying to go from here to here, and you step by step by step by step incrementally go. You're not going to feel like you're making any progress, but you're going to be making progress. And one of the things you're going to have to become good at is looking at life and recognizing signs that you are making progress. It's recognizing signs that you are going in the right direction. That's how you check. So you're the captain of your ship. You're trying to go in the right direction. Sometimes life is rough. Sometimes you don't even know, am I going in the right direction? You have to be look on the lookout for little signs. So what, what does that mean for me? Maybe I did three pull-ups last workout, and maybe this workout I'm going to crank out four. Um, maybe I lost a half a pound today. Uh, maybe I found the willpower not to, I don't know, eat a chocolate chip cookie that I didn't fit into my caloric or uh, macro goals for the day. Whatever it is. You need to look for little baby steps, things that are happening, because a little baby steps really add up if you keep making them in the same direction. If you do this, this is what people do in life. They make a little baby step here, and a little baby step there, and a little baby step here, and a little baby step here, and a little baby step here. Oh, I want to learn piano. Oh, no, I want to learn karate. Oh, maybe I should lose weight. Oh, you know, maybe I should join a boxing club. Oh, maybe I should learn French. And all you have is like a pile of spaghetti. You need to pick a clear direction, and you need to go in that direction. And if you make incremental, half an inch at a time steps for long enough, you will blow your mind with how much progress you've made. So that is, you have to, you have to understand that, and you have to believe that principle, okay? So what's going to happen is you're going to wake up one day, 50 baby steps in, whatever you're doing, and you're going to say, I don't feel like it today. There's nothing inside me today that says, I want to do this today, okay? And this is where, this is where it happens. This is where you will decide the course of your own life, right when this happens. 
You can either not do anything, not try to make progress, give up essentially, uh, get blown around in the wind, whatever way it's going, or you can fucking take life by the reins and say, we're going. I'm going to do one thing, one thing today to get me going. I don't feel like it. I don't want to do it. But logically, I can step back and say, hey, hey, buddy, you're not feeling it today. But whatever it is that you want, you're going to want it again. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the next day, but you're going to want it. And you have to keep moving forward. So how to stay motivated, it's not really in some ways about staying motivated. It's more about continuing to do the, the, the right thing to take you in the right direction, whether you're feeling it or not, okay? But if your batteries get really drained and you feel like you can't do it anymore, you need to find people that inspire you, okay? So your bodybuilder, you need to find somebody like, I don't know, Kai Green to say, Look at this guy. Everything this guy does is amazing. Or, I don't know, your strength competitor, Brian Shaw. This guy is unbelievable. Power lifter, Mark Bell. Uh, I can't believe it, right? Somebody that you can find. And I think, for me, YouTube is an amazing tool for this to see some of the, the day in the life of, of some of these people that you admire. You have to find people that you admire. And you have to realize that all they've done is pointed the ship in the direction that you want to go, but they've just kept going. And you have to understand that, I don't know, maybe you'll get there, maybe you'll surpass them. But even if you don't, if you can make it part of the way there, you've got to understand and believe that that's the right direction for you. And you've got to realize that even if I can make it halfway to where, uh, you know, I want to be a dancer, let's say. If I can become half as good as Michael Jackson, I am one of the top dancers in the world, right? So whatever you want to do, you have to find people that inspire you. And you have to pump that stuff into your brain. Just like taking your vitamins or eating your vegetables, you have to pump the stuff into your brain that inspires you. And that is one of the ways that you can re-spark motivation. So stuff that inspires you, and then two, making small progress, right? Uh, you know, I want to be the best break dancer in the world. Today I learned how to do the moonwalk. I'm making progress. If you can feel that, I'm telling you, it is, is like a kick. It just kicks in, okay? The other thing is, if you've done your little thing for the day, you've looked at stuff to inspire you, you're just not feeling it, okay? Say, hey man, that is okay. And go to bed and call it a night. Just <laughs> take a break, get some sleep, because tomorrow is going to be a better day. And, you, and understand that, that... Even when stuff gets bad, it's going to get better. So do it. Go out there, take life by the reins, and freaking go do something today to go in the direction that you want to go. All right, this episode of Wes and the Stash is done.